and we just start at the top. So this has to be done for um, all of the older students. It's going to help the makeup to sit uh, and stay on the face, especially if they're going to be dancing and sweating. So it's good to get something that's more waterproof or sweatproof. And it's going to hide any imperfections and things like that, especially for pictures. So we just want to blend it into the face. Good. So that's your base. We're going to just let that sit for a couple of minutes. And then you would apply a powder to set it. Otherwise, it, the liquid or no matter what kind of um, foundation you've used, you're going to want to set it with something. Otherwise, it's going to come off on costumes and things like that. And we have a base to work with. So we're going to go into the eyes, which are the most important part. This is the part that you're going to think is a bit scary, but you have to remember that this is stage makeup. We're not trying to make young girls look older. We're just trying to really define and contour the features in their face. So from the stage, it looks big and uh, theatrical. We don't want um, the lighting to wash out the face. Uh, the distance and the lighting are going to make them look uh, either sickly or pale or um, you're just not going to be able to see the details of their face so we're just making that stand out more so we don't want to use all kinds of crazy colors on the eyes we're just using browns because we're defining um, the depth and the highlight we're going to move on to the eyebrows using your medium or dark brown and an angled brush so this is our medium, and this is our dark brown. Medium, dark brown. So you're going to choose the color depending on your child's face. We're going to go with a little bit of both. And we're just going to fill in the natural brow. Now we're going to move on to eye contour. All ages require this same eye contour application. We start with a medium, a dark, and then a highlighter. So we're going to go in with our medium and apply that to the eyelid. I'm using a flat brush. Then we're going to go in with our angled brush in the darker color. And we're going to contour and blend right in the eye crease. Now we're going to go back with our flat brush and apply a little bit of highlighter just underneath the eyebrow. So this is your white color. Now we're going to go in with our top eyeliner. 
After wetting your angled brush in water, dab the black eyeshadow to create an eyeliner. All ages are required to wear a top eyeliner this way. Your top eyeliner should mimic and open the eye like your top eyelashes do. So I'm using a narrow angled brush and I'm going to go in, I've wet it, I'm going to go into the black color here. And I'm going to follow the top lashes and pull that line all the way up. Now for the bottom eyeliner. Ages 3 to 5 should apply the outer half of the bottom eyeliner lifting up and out, mimicking the bottom lashes. Ages 6 and up are required to wear full bottom eyeliner. This can look very extreme from close up, but in professional lighting and from the distance of the stage, this eyeliner application helps to open up the eye. So if this were ages 3 to 5, I would just do a bottom line right here parallel to my top line, but ever so slightly shorter. So that would be the liner, again over here, for ages three to five. Six and up, we're gonna do a full line on the bottom. Now we don't wanna start all the way into the inner part of the eye, we wanna start about a quarter of the way in. And the nice thing about this brush is I can actually just stamp because it's such a wide angled brush. I just have to stamp a couple of lines. So parents, you might like this. There we go. Now we're gonna go in with our flat brush again. And add more highlighter to the inner and outer eye. So I'm going to go in with that white. And add a little bit more under the eyebrow as well. And I'm going to take that white and put it right in between my two lines here. A trick if you want that to stand out more is just to wet your brush like you did for the eyeliner and dab it in the white. And it's just going to make that white pop a bit more. Now we're going to go in with our smaller round brush and we're going to contour the cheekbones. So we're going to take this, uh, just a very small bit of this darker brown. And she's gonna make a fish face and we're just going to blend really well underneath that cheekbone. A little bit on the other side. At first it looks a little bit sloppy, but we just wanna blend it really well. Good, relax. And then we're going to add our blush using the bigger powder brush. And we go into the blush of the palette. And we're just going to apply that to the apples of the cheeks. Now this should stand out more than you would for regular makeup. And again with your smaller round brush. We're going to go in with that highlight again and we're going to add this just above. 
So very similar to the eyes, where we've added the medium brown, the dark brown, and then the highlight. We've got the dark brown contour, blush, and then highlight on top. All ages are required to wear red lipstick. So we're gonna go with our lipstick in the palette. And this one can be tricky when you're using your lip brush, so just do little strokes. And lip liner is optional, you can always do your lip liner first. And then all ages are required to wear waterproof mascara to complete the look. So I'm going to have Shauna shut her eyes. I just find that this is a little bit easier. We really only need to apply this to the top lashes, so don't worry too much about the bottom lashes. So sometimes it's easier if they shut their eyes, sometimes it's easier if they just open them a little bit. or you can also have them just blink. Good. And that's our stage makeup tutorial for Calling with School of Dance.